I'm delighted to welcome to the show, Carrie Prejean Bowler. Carrie was Miss USA California in 2009 and Miss USA 2009, a first runner up. She's an author, mother, and wife to NFL quarterback, Kyle Bowler. Carrie, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me, Danielle. Oh, well, it was so great to see you recently at Mar-a-Lago. I think we saw each other on Trump's announcement night, which was so much fun. Um, but we first met in Pennsylvania a couple years ago when Women for Trump initially launched. Um, we were both on the advisory board of Women for Trump. We're spokeswomen for that. So what was your experience like being part of the Trump campaign? Oh, it was so much fun. Um, everybody was so amazing. Um, Women for Trump. I loved going on the bus and traveling across uh, the country and just seeing so many supporters, uh, especially women, support the president. And they loved him. They loved his policies. They loved what he did for our country. And um, so it was it was such an honor to be part of Women for Trump. Oh, my gosh. Well, what initially inspired you to kind of enter into this crazy political world and comment on it and support President Trump? Yeah, that's a good question. So I was Miss California in 2009. I was first around Miss USA 2009. And uh, Donald Trump owned the pageant at the time. And so we knew as contestants that anything that Trump touched literally turned to gold. So we signed up and we knew that if we did that pageant, that we would go on to do amazing things in life and our careers. And um, so it took a turn a little bit for the worse for me. Um, I stood up against traditional marriage uh, boldly, unapologetically. I have no regrets about that. Um, but from there, there was a huge firestorm um, that came after that. And you know who had my back? Donald Trump. Um, he appreciated the stance that I took, the honest stance that I took, and the stance really that was from my heart. And it was, you know, authentically me. And so he kind of took me under his wing and he was sort of a mentor to me and he helped me in my career. He helped me write a book um, called Still Standing. I mean, I can't even believe that I titled it that. And here I am 13 years later, still standing. Um, so yeah, he was just an incredible mentor friend. And I used to call him on a daily basis and he would answer the phone and say, what do you need? And that's the kind of guy he is. And so um, when he asked me to be a part of Women for Trump, of course, I said yes. And it's just been an incredible ride um, these last 13 years. Oh, my gosh, that is amazing. And when you think <laughs> back to when you were in the pageant, did you expect them to ask you a question like that? I believe it was about, um, you know, whether you support a traditional marriage or not. Or did you see that kind of question coming or was that kind of like something that was intended to to be a political yeah. kind of dividing I question. Think, I think it was a setup. Um, I think that, you know, the judge that had asked it, I actually did a podcast with him. Perez Hilton was the one that asked the question. And I did an interview with him recently and it was really cool, Danielle. He apologized to me all these years <laughs> later. And it was so, um, and not that I needed it, but it was just, you know, when someone wrongs you and slams you and calls you every name, name in the book, especially a man you know, calling a woman the C word, the B word. I mean, uh, just horrible names that you could call a woman. And then 13 years later, he apologized to me. It was it was a beautiful moment. And I, I told him that I had forgiven him a long time ago. Um, but I think that he had an agenda that night. You know, this was prior to cancel culture. This was prior to political correctness. You know, I was one of the first to be canceled. 